Welcome to our lecture online. What do we do when the fractional exponents do not have the same denominators? Then how to work out problems like these? How do you simplify these expressions? Well, it turns out you need to add them like we normally add fractions when the denominators are not the same. You need to find the lowest common denominator. That should ring a bell, so let's see how that applies to something like this. On the top problem, for example, we take 2 and we're, since the base are the same, we're going to add exponents. So we have 2 to the 2 thirds power plus 5 eighths power. And what is the lowest common denominator in this case? It is the product of the two denominators. So this is equal to 2 to something over 24. So what we need to do is we need to multiply the denominator and the numerator by the same number, in this case, by the number 8. So we have to do the same to the numerator. And we're going to add that 2 plus 5 over 8. Let's extend this. And yes, we're going to have to multiply this times 3 and the numerator times 3 as well. Notice when we do that, the denominators will be 24 for each of the two fractions. So this can now be written as 2 to the 16 over 24 plus 3 times 5, which is 15 over 24 power. So this becomes 2 to the 31 over 24 power. And yes, indeed, that's the simplest form in which we can write that. It's not a pretty form, but it's the simplest form. That's the solution to this problem. Same over here. Notice that none of the denominators of the exponents are the same. So that means that this is going to be written as 3 to the 1 half plus one third. When we multiply, we add exponents, but when we divide, we subtract exponents. So this becomes minus one over five. And now again, we need to find the lowest common denominator, which in this case, since they're all prime numbers, will be 30. So this is equal to uh, something over 30. So this becomes a two times. We have to multiply the denominator by 15 and the numerator by 15. So now we have plus 1 over 3, and again, we're going to multiply the denominator by 10 and the numerator by 10. Again, the lowest common denominator is 30, so we have to turn every one of these denominators into 30. And then plus 1 over 5, and here we have to multiply both the top and the bottom by 6 to make the denominator equal to 30. And let's see here, I think I forgot my base, can't forget my base. So let me move this over just a little bit. That's equal to 3 raised to all of this. All right, so now we can simplify that. This is equal to 3. Uh, that would be 15 over 30 plus 10 over 30 plus 6 over 30. Or this is equal to 3. That would be 31 over 30. And yes, indeed, you may not like the result, but that's the simplest way in which you can write that particular expression. Again, when the denominator is not the same, we must add them just like we do any fraction, find the lowest common denominator, and then add those results. And that is how it's done.